Hello and welcome to another Rust Locker video and today I'm working on the combo van doing a nice little mod to give myself some more charging ports for all the little things that I've got to plug in. Now I'm sure a lot of you have had the same problem as me and that is how do you juggle your sat nav charger with your phone charger with your vape charger with anything else that you might need to plug in when you've only got one 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter in your car. So one option is to get one of these things which is a cigarette lighter charger that goes into USB ports um, but obviously the problem is there if you've got one of the old traditional type chargers for a sat nav or whatever you then have to still juggle between your USBs and your sat nav so, so what I've done is I've got this off of Amazon which is a charger adapter that contains both a traditional cigarette lighter type power port with two USB ports so I'm going to be fitting this in the place of the standard 12 volt cigarette lighter socket and hopefully you're going to join me for it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is uh, to pull out the um, existing cigarette lighter. And the way I did that was I just made sure everything was off, obviously, before you stick your finger in there. Stick your finger in there and then just pull, and this whole thing comes apart, comes out. Oh dear. Okay, so you can see that some wires have come apart there. This is some of my old wiring from when I did the fitted the head unit. So yours probably won't look like this. Uh, doesn't matter that that's just come apart because I'm going to have to do some wiring and add some wires so that we can fit the new charger adapter. But if you haven't already messed with the wires to uh, fit a stereo head unit or something like that, you will have two wires going into the back of your cigarette lighter. Um, sometimes three on other models but uh, on these older models there's just two um, the brown is your ground I believe and the black is the live um, you can see the black um, which I've connected to this red one that's for going to the stereo head unit um, so I basically spliced them both I think I cut one by accident and had to join it up um, and spliced off of the black wire for the um, positive for the uh, stereo so you're just gonna have the two wires probably um, so what we need to do is we need to extend this uh, the black wire and splice that off to go to the uh, the positive on the new power adapter so I'm gonna do that now Okay, so what have I got? Yeah, reds are positives and the blacks are ground. Just split these other ends and strip them. Okay, so now if I'm not mistaken, I need to join these reds together and fit them to a junction box with the black wire and the two black wires need to go to a junction box with a brown wire. I know this is confusing, ideally I'd use the same coloured wires that I've already got, but this is the only wiring that I've got so I'm going to have to make do just hope no one else ever has to deal with this wiring Okay, so if I connect these up to a junction box now, then we can test out to see if it works, and we'll go from there. Right, so I've connected the wires up using these junction boxes here. I've ignored the old cigarette lighter and the uh, head unit wire for the time being. Just wanted to check to see if this works. And we've got a blue light on there, which is a good sign. I've plugged my phone in, and that is charging, so that's good. Try the other one. And that's charging, that's good. Plug the old sat nav in. 
and that's come on so we're good to go right so now that we know everything works I'm going to turn the ignition back off lights gone out that's all good right so now what I need to do is um, put back my power cable for the head unit we can get rid of this old thing so the head unit power has obviously got to go to um, the black wire junction and uh, and then we'll fit this into the gap somehow where's the screwdriver there it is right so black wire there in that junction and do this again wire that back up to that now I've got to try and ram all this in there Make sure everything's tight. Okay, now if I thread these wires back through here, we're going to find out that this is not going to quite fit how the manufacturers wanted it to fit. So as you can see, they've uh, they've put four screw holes on the uh, adapter, but there's actually nothing for it to screw into. So I'm going to need to work something else out here. Okay, so I've come up with a little plan. It's a little bit ghetto, but it will do, I think. And that is, I've got some little offcuts of wood like this out of the shed, and I'm going to uh, epoxy glue this sort of in and under that lip there, which is going to give me a sort of an anchor point to screw the adapter in to the wood blocks. I've glued this one here, I'm just waiting for that to dry. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm just using some really cheap epoxy glue and uh, kind of just blobbing that on there and a bit on the sides. Be careful with this shit because uh, you don't want this on your upholstery. Got to mix it together. Basically, I slot it in and under and up into that corner like that. Oh, and I've knocked the other one off. Unbelievable. Okay, I think I'm going to wait for one to dry before I do the other one. Okay, so I've got the two blocks of wood stuck in there now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let these uh, dry overnight just to make sure that there's a strong bond there before I try and screw in the adapter. Got to be honest, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but uh, it's all I can think of doing at the moment. If you've got any other ideas for doing this, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'm going to call it a day there, it's getting too dark to film, so I shall come back in the morning and we'll see how that's glued and then hopefully we can just screw this adapter in. Okay so it's the next day and my wooden block idea seems to have worked. They're in there pretty securely so what I'm going to do now is uh, mark where the holes need to go to mount some screws and then fix this in place and then we are job done. Right, so I'm gonna be getting this lined up pretty much how I want it, and then just using a screw, just push in and just mark a hole. And it's a little bit annoying that this is just a slightly bit too big for the gap, but go just there now I've got to carefully drill this hole without 
splitting the wood or knocking my wooden block off. Okay, I'm just going to do one and then screw that in. Tuck all these wires back in. And now that that's in, I shall drill the holes for the others. Okay, so we're all screwed in now. What actually happened was, whilst I was screwing this in, what I thought was going to happen happened, and that is that the glue on the wooden blocks came unstuck from the centre console. But because I'd made the blocks um, the right sort of size to go in and under the lip, by screwing them in, I've kind of sort of uh, locked it in anyway. Uh, I don't know how best to describe it, but... Um, Essentially the glue isn't holding the wooden blocks in anymore, but the fact that these are screwed in and the wooden block is behind this lip has mean, means that it's, uh, it's actually tight and it's in there good. So that is, has worked out okay. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Now I've got some, I've got a charging port for my sat nav. And whack that in there. I've got some USB ports for my phone. Can whack them in there. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. And I will catch you on the next one. So what I've done is I've got this as a mem. So what I've done is I've got this as a charging port into the same thing.